Damn, my thing, my camera cut off. He said, I ain't gonna flag your motherfucking ass for what? Right? They was like, you should flag and you can flag it. I think they ended up flagging her. But I didn't even flag her, so why would I flag this one? As long as she ain't putting, you know, personal information out there about me, why would I flag her? So I don't know if she believed her or not. You know, she was responding saying that, oh, she, she's one of them, them haters. She, she, her ugly, ugly wear. I know I ain't got no makeup or nothing on, but ugly wear. Okay. I said ugly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell you something. And I'm not saying this to brag. And one day, one day, I want to just have like a body cam. Y'all should see. And we run into people. And I don't have men and women. And I'm not saying it happens all the time. But I had to, especially when I'm beef face. When I'm beef face, oh my God. You know, you pretty. I feel like they, and I be walking with my house and I'm like, oh, thank you. When I don't have my shades on and stuff like that, when my face exists, is exposed. They approach me, you pretty, you pretty. We ran into a old, um, we ran into a, I want to say old co-worker of mine. But it was one of um, my husband's co-workers. We ran into her at the mall. We was waiting for a movie to start. So we was just like walking around getting some Nestle cookies. The mall we went to, they got a Nestle store. They got a Nestle store and a Mrs. Phil store. Oh, the Nestle store had some delicious cookies. They sell the cookies. They sell the brownies and all that stuff. So we ran into her and her kids. She go to my husband's office when he went to work. She said, oh my God, your wife is pretty. There are women I don't even know. I don't even know these women. Okay. They're from, from my old job. I've never worked with them before. But they know my husband. They saw my picture on Facebook because I'm part of that group. They were coming home. Oh my God, your wife is so pretty. They were asking questions about my hair. Like, is my hair real? Yeah, my mix and stuff. Oh, yeah. Y'all think I'm playing. It's probably some bitch probably gonna be like, she lying. I don't know. First of all, I'm not that type of person that's too desperate for attention, believe it or not. That I want attention all on me. I usually shy away from attention. In real life, that's how I am. I don't like attention on me like that. I don't do things. I don't talk loud and laugh loud. Just so people can look at me. I'm like the opposite. And I still get to attention. I don't know. It's my body. And I do got a big dump dump. <laughs> But I men and women approach me. You pretty, you cute. Oh my god, you're beautiful. Not saying I'm all right, but I really don't think I'm all right. <laughs> really don't brag about that stuff. Close the door. Hold on, let me pause this. I'm on my fast when you're talking, right? I'm just about there. I'm just applying the rest of this coconut cream mixture I put together. This is so funny. I like this consistency. But yeah, I don't like attention all on like that. I usually don't like that. Look how smooth the hair look. Remember how I looked earlier? 
Look at that. The smoothing out already. They call it the natural relaxer. <laughs> natural relaxer. So when I straighten it, it'll stay moisturized longer. And be more it won't it'll be less frizzy. It's going to revert from the roots. <laughs> Unless I put chemicals in my hair. You know, I was thinking about putting, doing a keratin treatment. And I saw people, some videos saying, don't do it, don't do it. It'll change your hair texture. They put some type of chemicals. That's the same as they use for dead bodies, I found out. That's why it stinks. I was like, oh my God, are you serious? They use it to help preserve the hair, just like they preserve the abdominal fluid. That's what it's called. Um, they, they use that for street drugs, too. I remember when this detective came to my school, my eighth grade class, and was talking about to us. And he mentioned that they put they, they um, what the drug dealers was doing back then. They was breaking into funeral homes, stealing that fluid that they used to preserve their bodies. And they was putting it in the street drugs because it's supposed to keep the high going faster or something. It makes it, it enhances it or something like that. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that. They was they was going into these funeral homes, breaking to these funeral homes and still in this fluid. This chemical, I mean, I was like, wow. This is all saturated. And it's not licking. I'm, I'm going to make it this way again. Because I like to make it in a way where it's not leaking too much. Well, it usually is when you use coconut milk. You could use coconut milk. To me, I prefer, I prefer the milk. The original video, the one I'm doing it, used this exact coconut cream concentrate. You could use coconut milk to replace that. When I start off, I use coconut milk. Well, I gotta go, guys. Um, this is nice chatting with you guys, and I will see you in the next video. And no, I can't do live on my Mrs. O channel. So. Not for a while. Anyway, bye bye now. Look at this style. That don't look right. Ew. Why not taste that? Gotta put that vodka in it. <laughs>